Hello, my name is David Kersley, a certified SolidWorks application engineer with Go Engineer. In this video, we will add hardware to our assembly. But how can I do this knowing that I have SolidWorks standard and toolbox is not included? If I had SolidWorks Premium or Professional, you would notice in your design library that you have a little folder, a little icon over here for toolbox. And inside of toolbox, there's all kinds of screws, nuts and bolts that we can easily drag and drop into our assembly. But because we have standard, this doesn't come included. One way that I get around it is I create a folder, either on my network drive. In this case, I've got it on my front, uh, desktop and it's called hardware. I right clicked up here. I clicked add to folder location and I added that folder. Now I've started to build a library of nuts, bolts and screws but I still have to go somewhere to get the, the screw, right? One recommendation and place and source for, uh, for good files is actually McMaster car. So I know that I need quarter 20. So over on the left, I'm gonna hit inch, quarter 20. I'm gonna hit my thread type and I know that I need this to be one inch. If I hit show, you've got all kinds of length variables. And when I do, I, I got the, uh, uh, the manager to narrow down my selections and you'll notice that there's some blue lettering over here on the right and if you pick on this this like this one's a 9125 blah 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 there's a product detail and a little symbol here like a target symbol that says CAD and if you pick on either one of those well your screen turns this way and, and don't don't panic it's no big deal just scroll down and you'll see the blueprint up at the top these are all the the uh, uh, details of the parts so like this is one inch long quarter 20 uh the tensile strength all that but over here on the right this is what we want to pay attention to we can actually download a 3d solidworks file we can load an e-drawing igis pdf sat and a step we can also download 2d if we needed it and we could also print the blueprint in this case we're going to pick on 3d solidworks and we're going to hit save we're going to hit the launcher and hit ok now on the top right it's going to go ahead and download what I recommend at this point is to go ahead and run a virus scan on it and then go ahead and open up that part and I've already saved it into my uh, hardware folder under screws so I'm going to double click on it and what I do let's open that file up and this is the imported part so that's really good one thing I like to know is what are the planes and axes available to me? So if I need to make this part up, how can I do that? So I'm gonna turn the planes on that it was created with, and I can see the front planes here, top and right. I wanna put an axis in, so I'm gonna hit uh, reference geometry axis. I'm gonna do between two planes. I'm gonna pick my top and my right plane, and that puts the center line right through the center of my part. Happy there. I also might want to put a plane underneath this socket head cap screw and then one on this top face. And we can do that by just clicking reference geometry, plane, pick the face, make it coincident, hit OK. Rotate our little part around here. We're going to hit reference geometry plane again. Pick that face here. Make sure this is cleared out. Pick this face here and hit coincident. And now we've got our part. We can go ahead and save our part. We've already run virus scan of it, so we feel pretty confident in it. Now what we want to do is add this to our assembly. So from here, all we have to do is drag and drop it into the assembly. Now if I keep moving around, I can just continuously add hardware. I'm just going to hit the escape key one time. And what I want to do is I know that that one bolt socket head cap screw is going to populate all four I'm only going to put it in once and then I'm going to pattern it there's a couple of different ways to do that but what I want to do right now is get this mated up one way to do it is hold down the alt key grab the outside diameter of the socket head cap screw and as I move it over the hole you'll notice the inside of the hole turns blue I'm going to let go and I'm going to pick the concentric mate and I'm going to hit the green check Another way to mate parts is just the way we would normally do it. Hit mate from the top of the screen. And I'm going to pick the inside of the, so the counter bore here. And I'm going to pick the bottom of my socket head cap screw. And when I do, I'm going to make sure I hit the flip 
mate alignment. And that's going to put the screw in there the correct way. And all this is is prompting you saying the alignment of the mates was reversed to prevent errors. We're going to say, OK, hit our green check here and we hit the green check there. And if we scroll out, we can now see that the hardware is actually in there. We could go ahead and repeat this process for the lock washer, the flat washer, the nuts, whatever you need to add to it, you can do it. And this will be a way for you to go ahead and start building a library and easily add parts in the future. I hope you found this SOLIDWORKS tutorial helpful. Please check our, out our Go Engineer YouTube library or visit our website and find a class and enroll today at www.goengineer.com.